Well, an officer called PC Matthew Gell has been given a final written warning after sharing that message just after those horrendous killings last June. And you'll remember that Barnaby was one of three victims. His friend Grace O'Malley Kumar was also stabbed repeatedly. Shortly afterwards, Ian Coates became Valdo Calacane's third victim before Ian's van was used to ram three pedestrians in the city centre. As you know, the families have already been very critical of Nottinghamshire Police. They've said Calacane should have been arrested after previous incidents and this latest revelation has really rubbed salt into those wounds. Now PC Gell was given that final warning because he searched for details about Calacane even though the case was nothing to do with him. That was a serious data protection breach and that was publicized by the force after his misconduct hearing last month. They also said he breached professional policing standards by sharing details in a text message. And what's emerged now is more detail about that. The force says that message was posted to a WhatsApp group. It contained what the force has described as crude and distasteful words. And it's also emerged that one of PC Girl's colleagues has been given what the force calls management intervention. Now today, Emma Weber said the families are utterly horrified by what she's called sharing salacious news. She's described it as another car crash for Nottinghamshire Police and says the first they heard was from the media after last month's misconduct hearing. The force has made it clear that no one shared any images. It was a single text, they say, and Nottinghamshire's police commissioner says she's reassured this was dealt with swiftly and robustly.